YouTube. Um, today we're going to be making this beautiful peony sort of decoration. You can put it anywhere you like in your home. And um, the bottom's like a silver glitter. Uh, why I'm doing this today is because, as many of you probably aren't aware because you don't see around me, my house is not very girly. Um, it's blues and greens and neutrals with woods and um, so what I've decided to do is make a craft room upstairs. And so with that I can do whatever I want. It's my room, um, it's a fresh canvas, well not right now, right now it's stuffed to the brim with craft supplies that aren't organized. But I'm gonna totally girl it up and this is my first project for that room. So let's get started and um, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the first step is to take some Mod Podge and we're gonna coat the entire inside of our square vase. And I got this just at the dollar store. Um, I was looking for sort of what kind of a container I'd want and they didn't have anything that sort of struck my eye, so I just decided to make my own. Shocker. That's what DIY is all about, right? Okay, so you're just going to take a paint brush and you're going to paint the entire inside of the vase with your paint brush and get like a nice thin coat. Now the Mod Podge does dry clear so that's why we like to use it. If you have another type of glue that dries clear then you can definitely use that. So once you're all done with your glue, you're just going to grab some glitter and I chose silver, you can do gold, whatever you like, and you're going to dump it into your container and then you're going to roll it around and shake it and get it all over the sides. So that's why I put this piece of paper down so that I can easily roll this around without getting glitter everywhere. Give it a good, generous coat. Okay, so I'm just going to empty the excess glitter out of here, and now you just need to wait for it to dry. If you don't want to use glitter, you can just take some paint black or white or gold, whatever you like, and you can paint the interior of your container. Uh, that would also look really pretty. Once the glue is dry on the first coat, we're going to take the Mod Podge, we're going to do one more coat with glitter um, just to make sure that there's no gaps and you can't see our little styrofoam piece through. You can never have too much glitter, right? There we go. So now we just wait for this to dry and then we're ready to go on to the next step. Okay, so our vase is dry and it's already looking fantastic just on its own as like a glitter vase. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some of our sponge. It's like the foam floral sponge and I'm just gonna cut out a piece that will go inside of our vase. So I'm just using regular kitchen knife. It's so easy to cut through. You don't need enough to fully fill the vase. You just need enough so that um, you can glue it down in and you can poke the flowers into it. So we're just going to use our glue gun that I have heating up here. And we're going to put a bit of glue on the bottom just to affix it to the vase. And stick it right in the middle. And just press it down with your fingers. 
So that's in the middle of our glitter vase. And I bought these beautiful large peonies. Um, I wanted small peonies, but I couldn't find any at the dollar store. So this is what I settled for. So you're just going to use some wire cutter or scissors, depending on how thick your stem is. And you're going to cut the flower stems off. And what we're going to do is we'll just arrange the flowers in our vase and then we'll glue them in. These are like heavy duty wire cutters. And keep some of the leaves too uh, because the green is nice as well to have in here. I'm going to do one a little bit longer. So first you want to arrange them whichever way you like them and then glue them in. So just poke it down in wherever you'd like. It's nice if some are taller and some are shorter. I kind of like the way that looks, how one's longer and the others are shorter. And then you can just use the leaves to fill up the rest of the space. Have a little greenery in there. Perfect. And I'm just going to put some leaves on this side. Once you have it arranged the way you like, then you can just take your glue gun and glue it all in. So I have it pretty much exactly like I want it and that's the finished product. Thanks for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a good one.